What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 10 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode where is Zilla FC our team and in the last episode we did really really well in our first matches in the Premier League against Spurs and Manchester City. We won and drew the other one and uh, Rivera is flying uh, next twice in Zilla FC draw against Man City. Well, <laughs> I have to say that guy is really really good i can't even believe that people want to like i'm i'm not even surprised that people want to buy him but i don't think i can sell him anytime soon because he has to be like him and zaid have to be like the squad's best players so i have a feeling that they're in this for the long run to be honest it's transfer deadline day also means that i'm going to be trying for alfonso davies again I'm going to be doing a player swap here for a very Verda is already 92. <laughs> what? Okay, so I'm just going to drop this fee down to 10 because you know they might be mad. And I'm just going to submit this offer. And yeah, they actually accept it. So, <clears throat> to, be, <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually having second thoughts about this because I really do not want to sell the Verda. Let's just see how old he is. He is 28, so that means. He's not really going to get up to 88, I'm sure. And even if he does, he's a really good, he's a really, really good left back. And he's fast, but Davies is faster and I need Davies down on the wing. Because Davies is, I'm just going to sell him. Because why not? I have like swapped out two of my original players. So, I mean, it's not really, it's not really that big of a deal because it's not Rivera or Zaid, even though he is... The second highest rated player on the team i'm still going to be going for davies all right so they want a crucial role they want five years as well i'm going to accept all of that N no release clause obviously and they want a 470 470 pound signing bonus as well as a bonus of okay he's weight like i'm actually really comfortable with that so i'm just going to accept it so that's that's it david's in our team just like that and dave verda is also out transfer deadline day signing right there so we have mason greenwood and alfonso davies oh he's from canada i swear to god i didn't know that he was from canada all right i just did a couple development schedules and i'm going to be running down this clock if anything happens i will let you guys know okay there's an international break and i'll be simming to the um home match against Watford I won't be playing that I'll be using my second team to sim that we win against Newcastle and do we get the win against Leicester no we draw with Leicester so that's the second draw this season for this match I'll be using my second team and let's see if we're going to be able to win it and so, no we actually get the L against Watford and that is our first loss of this season we are currently in fifth position with Manchester City five points away from us Liverpool second us now it's third and we are on the same points as Spurs and Wolves. Chelsea is still below us and this is actually, yeah, we're actually dropping off the major teams that are going to start flying, especially Manchester City, they are still yet to lose. And for the goals, as usual, Rivera is the highest. <laughs> I mean, this guy just scores goals for fun. All right, next up is this match against Manchester United. Then there's Arsenal after and Liverpool after. So I think I'm, I'm going to play those three matches for now, for this episode, and that's where I'll end it. We're facing Ronaldo. <laughs> we are facing Ronaldo. So let's see what's going to happen. I think they are second. Or was he third? Or they're just not even on the table at all. I really can't remember what position they were, but I mean, let's see what they're going to do. The man to watch. Up against his former club, will he make an impact live on EA TV? And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United against the Blades. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And 
here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea between the posts. Out the game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. And attempting the through ball. And Ronaldo just needs to remain level-headed. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo! And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Manchester City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Sheffield United. It's now 1-0 with 21 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Oh, excellent diving stop. <laughs> Elects to go short. Muniain. Can he do it? And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Ronaldo. The cross was well played, but that's excellent defending from Alderweireld. Just made sure nothing came of that. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? It might be. And it's in. This game very much back on as a contest. Well, here's the replay, and it's the perfect ball in. Hard and low, causing plenty of issues for that back line. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such... Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. This could level it. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot. And the ball moving again. Advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Oh, a goal! They've done it! Quite the comeback, this! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. It's Manchester United facing West Bromwich Albion. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Has a go! And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going. Well, they could finish here, Stuart. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish. And a gap in the defence. Fred. And Rashford. Not a great pass. And a chance for him on the flank. Can he make it count? Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Scott is going to tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Sheffield United. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved, and once the space opened up, he took his chop. Ronaldo! Great chance to make it a brace, but the key... Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To clarify, Sheffield United did score in that match. It's got to be! A 
off the post and back in play. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Bruno Fernandes played into the box, attending to his defensive chores. And there it is, the full time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. Okay, that match was really, really tough. <laughs> and I'm not... And to be honest, for me, the man of the match was Torvaldsson because he has really saved us here. He will have been 4-3 so many times and that shot that Greenwood missed, what was that? I really expected him to put that away against his old team and that would, have, that would have been so cool. But I mean, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Okay, so that Manchester City drew their match, so they are just four points ahead of us and we're like just four points behind the league leaders that is Liverpool. Our match against Arsenal right now, they're in third. So if we win them, we're going to be on 15 points. So we might actually make our way to to the top four if Leicester and Spurs don't win their match along with Everton. I just saw that Suho has come back from injury. So that is him. He's not going to be playing, but he might actually come in at the later stages of the match if I actually feel like I need him in the match. But if not, he's, just, he's going to come on in the next match against Liverpool. So, um, or that Brighton. So, let's see what we can do against Arsenal in this match. Before we go into the match, Zaid is really, is going really, really fast because he's playing really well in the matches. So, yeah, this is our first match in our home stadium for this season. Or that is the first match that I'm playing in our home stadium. So, we're going to be hearing that theme song when we score. Hopefully we score. This is Arsenal, so I mean, it shouldn't really be all that hard compared to the others. Let's add Arsenal to the teams that we have beaten, to the top six teams that we have beaten in this league, along with Spurs. We drew with both Manchester United and Manchester City, and well, let's just hope that we can actually do something with Arsenal, because Arsenal, to be honest, in this game are actually pretty good, and well, let's hope we can actually outbest them. Scored those two goals, but it's his general play that was outstanding. Getting on the ball, making things happen, and he got his reward with the brace. And I'm expecting to see exactly the same again today. It begins in goal. Thomas Partey starts with Granite Jacker in the center of the pitch. And up front, a player with considerable attacking know how, Wissam Ben Yedder. Delivering it into the box. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Oh, breezing past him. And he takes it on. No way through. Corner kick played in. Well, he made great contact with that one. But the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Takes it. And grazing the woodwork that time. Well, it's almost the perfect strike, isn't it? Just gets underneath it slightly. Really good high press. It's still alive. A wild effort it was. And probably the less said about it, the better. Can he get them in front? Well, I think it's fair to say he got underneath that just a little bit. It's 1-0 with 26 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Eduardo Camavinga. Zaid. Could be! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. A well, fine reading of the situation. And a goal to update you on in the Everton game. Alex Scott is at the ready. And he might be through here. A goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. 
On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Leicester have scored in that game. And the real chance. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Now, I believe there's chances on. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic... And Campagna. And return to Ben Yedder, and pushed away to safety. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Can they get in behind them? Oh, a nice looking pass. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past. Devoe. Now with Rivera. Changing situation in the Leeds game. There's been a goal there. Alex Scott with the news. It's... He's in behind. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an impact. Oh, he's really opened them up here. No disappointing end to the move. Opportunity here. Well, because Arsenal, Arsenal, to be honest, in this game are actually pretty good. In this game are actually pretty good. Okay, so that was almost so close to being a 6-0 win. This is our first clean sheets of the season. Or, or, or that of the matches I've played and Zaid got a hat-trick. Is the only way to play of the season for our team. Last season, I think it was Jadon Rivera because he actually got the highest amount of goals. And, the, and then he was also like level on assist with Zaid. And well, this is actually a really good match. 5-0 against Arsenal. <laughs> I mean, I'm an Arsenal fan. But, I mean... I, I just wasn't expecting them to be this bad, to be honest. Because they don't even have any like world-class players. Where's Aubameyang? They probably sold him to so Lacazette and every single of that play player that is actually good in this team. So, now, to be honest, this is why I only wanted to play against the big six clubs. Because, because if I'm playing legendary, I'm going to be like fucking up other small clubs like this. And that's exactly what I've done to Arsenal. I mean, they might actually get it in Emirates as well. I don't know if it's because we're in like the Godzilla arena or, or or anything. So next up is the Liverpool match. Just to remind you that we haven't lost this episode yet. I'm not going to be using my second team because the last time we completely fucked up against Watford in our home. Exactly, Greenwood scores and Rivera scores as well. Right, so the leading goal scorers are Jadon Rivera and Karim Zaid. Both of United States. Both of them are actually doing really really good. And next up after them is. Logan Devo with just two goals. That is the kind of crazy difference that these guys have. Zaid has actually dropped off with his assists in this season, and Jadon Vera has actually like taken over the assists and the goals. So this guy is actually really, really good and is actually a really good player for this team. They're actually both the same age as well, and these are really my favorite players. Greenwood has two goals as well, and this has to be the best defender in this team because he's 18. And he scores really, really well from, from corners. And he's just... How tall is he exactly? 
he's 6-2. All right, so this is the last match of the episode, and Liverpool is coming to the Godzilla Arena. We're using our first team as usual. Suho is back, even though he has a minus four in his name. I have no idea why he has a minus four. Gravenberg as well, and Devo. Does that mean they're bad form or what? Because I'm pretty sure they did really well in the matches that I've used them for. Davies is already at an 84. He's already um, where De Verda was, and I'm happy about that. And it's raining, so. Hopefully, it's not a gloomy day for us at the Godzilla Arena. The man of the moment. The big news is he's been deemed fit enough to start, and we're live next on EA TV. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's the Blades taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. He's with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Fabian. Here's Fabinho. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so Mark quickly. It was up there. in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realized that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, it's always a nice feeling as a manager when you rack up the victories. 50 in his case already for his career. He must finish. And a goal. Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. So Run it magnificently and intercepted. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And the ball is loose. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, I think it's a good moment to send it over to Alex Scott because, Alex, I'm getting word there's been a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's a goal for Spurs. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. Surely the equaliser. And a goal! And you've got to say, it definitely took a deflection off the defender. Well, here's the deflection, as you can see. But you can't blame the goalkeeper. He was just wrong-footed there. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full. Looks when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Can they take the lead here? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. So a throw in here. Devoe. Well, he caught the eye in the first 45, didn't he, Fabian? How would you critique his performance? Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that... Real chance! And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and action. ahead by two with 61 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. It's gone in beyond the goalkeeper, and Liverpool are level. Yeah. 
Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Andrew Robertson. Now Correa. Henderson. Fabinho. Must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, here it is again. And the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Won it back. And there goes... Well, I tried. I mean, it's Liverpool. <laughs> so, we're able to get this win. It's really sad that it was just at that last minute that they scored. I mean, I tried to get it straight away, but Fabinho made that tackle on Zahir, sorry, on Zaid, and we weren't able to <sighs> at least have an attempt on goal. But thank you guys for watching. This has been a really, really nice episode. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, drop comments on what you think about the series. And, you know, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.